Trump's former press secretary tweeted today that he only held this press conference because he said, he, because he's, quote, panicking and concerned that his team is failing against Kamala Harris right now. Do you think that's true? Well, first of all, I'm not going to take anybody that was formerly a part of the Trump administration that lasted, I think, less than three days, who's very bitter and acts very bitter on Twitter of anything he says right now. No, this was from today. Stephanie Grisham. Oh, never mind. I was thinking it was Anthony Scaramucci because no. he actually tweeted out about the same thing. <laughs> Another as well. former Trumper, yeah, no. So you must say, go down your list of them right now. No, I don't think that's at all what this is. I think that he's trying to once again draw a stark difference between what the Harris. Uh, Walt's strategy is going to be the campaign season from here on out, and as well as what he's going to do. So if they're going to start doing, and frankly, Donald Trump should just sit back right now. He should let the news, let the journalists do what they're supposed to do and start looking into who Waltz really is, what his record is. Look, continue to put Harris um, in the spotlight. He doesn't have to do anything. The two of them speak for themselves and why the American people, if they're allowed to really get to know how progressively, radically left the two of them are, uh, I... Trump could just sit back and win on election day. You know, Nina, the fact is, is that Trump was taking questions from the press today and from black journalists at the NABJ uh, last week. And Kamala Harris has done none of this. Eight million people watched her first rally. She's doing several rallies a day now. But these are speeches. They're not interviews. And she's yet to explain many of her policies and many of her flip-flops on important issues like defund the police or what she would do on the border. You can't win the White House on good vibes alone. Well, that is true, Elizabeth. Now, but it's also true that Trump is rattled. He is rattled as hell. That is why he is out there right now doing those types of press conferences, because all the oxygen is going towards the harris Waltz uh, campaign. So the former president has to be out there to try, to try to draw more attention to him. I mean, I didn't know if it was a press conference or, or a comedy show, because the president was there bloviating, as he usually does, taking credit for everything good under the sun, and quite frankly, not painting a vision of hope. Everything has gone wrong in this country, according to President Trump. And he and he alone is the only one that can save this country and, dare I say, the world. That is exaggeration. That is classic President Donald J. Trump. Nina, there was a moment uh, when Trump appeared to compare him. I, I, I don't know. He was talking about crowd size again, about which he got very animated today. And he claimed today that his crowd at his speech on January 6th was bigger than the crowd of people who watched Martin Luther King give his I have a dream speech. Uh, take a listen to this. If you look at Martin Luther King when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything, same number of people. If not, we had more. And they said he had a million people, but I had 25,000 people. But when you look at the exact same picture, and everything's the same because it was the fountains, the whole thing, all the way back to uh, from Lincoln to Washington, and you look at it, and you look at the picture of his crowd, my crowd, uh, we actually had more people. Okay. Um, according to the Associated Press, there were a quarter of a million people to watch Martin Luther King give that speech. There were 10,000 people to watch Trump's rally. He can't help himself. It's me, 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 me. He really has not really matured much beyond a toddler. The way that he communicates and makes it all about him when it should be about what his agenda is for the working class people of this country. And to bring up Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., it wasn't even necessary to do that. And Dr. Bernice King, you know, has already taken to social media to say that she is tired of politicians using her father or misusing her father. So it was something that he didn't have to do. I don't even know why he brought that up. And nothing about... What, what happened on January 6th and, and Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Nothing about it is similar. The only true thing that the former president said is when he called the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. great. Other than that, there was no even no need for him to bring him up. Scotty, the Trump campaign is really hammering uh, Tim Waltz on his military record, on statements that he made that they said were misleading. Do you think that could backfire? And shouldn't they be focusing their fire on Kamala Harris, not the number two guy? 
Well, I think it can, you can do both. I believe that these politicians on the campaign trail need to multitask and they need to handle all of the issues. And yes, I do think that we do, you know, that we do need to respect Waltz's service while at the same time questioning why he did get out four months before his uh, National Guard uh, deployment was activated, his troop was activated. I think that's a legitimate question that he should answer. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.